hello guys uh, welcome to our next video in the playlist google earth engine for the forest resource management so in today's video we will look at a very useful product uh, for the biomass estimation for the year 2010 and uh, it has uh, the both the bands uh, for above ground biomass and the below ground biomass and uh, with the addition of both we can have the total bio uh, biomass uh, which is uh, available in the global basis so this data set is available for the entire world so let's start by importing our data set which is a very useful product so let's search uh, biomass in the data catalog it's a keyword so here you can see we have the global above ground and below ground biomass carbon density maps so if we can just open uh, it has the above ground biomass so it is the above ground living biomass carbon stock density of the combined woody and herbaceous cover in the year 2010 and uh, it has the below ground biomass uh, for the year 2010 so it consists of uh, again the wood as well as the herbaceous cover so its minimum value is from 0 and maximum value is 57 and uh, here uh, the above ground is 0 to 127 129 uh, in terms of uh, megatons per megagrams per hectare so megagram per hectare and tons per hectare are one and the same so let's import this data set and we should also look at uh, what is the resolution of data so it's a 300 meter resolution so we have one more data set uh, from WCMC. Uh, it is uh, it's also 300 meter resolution, but uh, it has only a single band, which is a tons of EBO and below ground carbon biomass per hectare. So we cannot uh, differentiate between EBO ground and below ground, below ground in this kind of data set. So I am using uh, the second data set uh, uh, from uh, this uh, data pool. So here you can see the data set is available from 2010 and we have already seen the bands. The resolution is 300 meters. So we have already imported it. So let's rename it as data and uh, let's also include uh, one of our states uh, in uh, any region to be our region of interest. So let's move to some of the forest areas. So if we can uh, move to uh, north of uh, European region so here you can see Norway and all so let's zoom in so create a region of interest by using a rectangle so I am taking this uh, entire region as our uh, region of interest okay so here you can just change the settings to geometry and rename it as a region of interest so that's it uncheck our geometry you can switch to satellite mode if you want so i'm continuing it uh, in a terrain mode only so let's uh, add our map to the center with the use of the function map dot add center to region of interest okay so let the zoom level be 14 so let's how how you can check the zoom level is that if you go to the inspector column click on any region so here you will get the zoom zoom level is 7 here so let it be seven only here you will also get the uh, latitude longitude as well as the scale uh, in meter per pixel so i have adjusted the map to center our object to the region of interest with a zoom level of seven and uh, let's create a variable say everground biomass so from the data set which we have imported select that and from that uh, we will filter it to bounce to our region of interest and also select the above ground band above ground biomass band so if you can again go to the data and uh, it's loading a little bit so if you go to the bands here you see the above ground biomass uh, is one band which we have so at currently I'm calculating the above ground biomass so just select this band and uh, you can use uh, the median function in order to make it into a single image in stop image collection so let's add this to our layer above ground biomass and i should also give the visualization parameters the minimum let's say it can be zero and uh, maximum can be let's say 100 and uh, the pellet which we should use is uh, we 
it should be in a square bracket so let's say i'll have the black color for uh, the low biomass density areas above ground biomass and uh, the dark green for brighter colors that is the highest biomass uh, value region and let's rename it as above ground biomass so let's run it click on the run now so yeah clearly guys here you can see uh you can switch to satellite mode and turn off the labels so wherever there is a darker patches uh, there uh, we have low amount of biomass so let's use this inspector column so click on the darker regions so here you can see 15 above ground biomass is there so if you go to more darker region 1 and if you can click on the bright color here you can see 52 is there so in order to exactly know what's the range uh, we will go to our layer panel and uh, you can stretch the range from 100 percent so here you see it is from 0 to 71 so let's modify to 72 and now we'll have a better visualization click on the run now yeah so this is about the above ground biomass density so let's again uh, make the same for the below ground biomass just cover the above script and paste it in here you can change the variable name to below ground biomass and from this data set we have filtered the bounce tower region of interest and we have selected this time the below ground biomass band and the median uh, function is used to reduce an image collection into a single image so now we are adding a map uh, to our layer uh, that is uh, below ground map below ground biomass layer and uh, let it be 100 and the palette should be say black and green and this should be our uh, sorry so this should be our below ground biomass so click on the run again so now our two layers should load yeah here you can see the below ground biomass and above ground biomass both are loading in order to have the better visualization let's test the range to 100 percent so here you can see the range is from only from 0 to 32 so accordingly we will change our visualization parameters maximum value to 32 so again the layer is loading so both the layers have loaded we have the two bands here clearly you can see the differentiation so use the inspector column again click on anywhere so here you will get the above ground biomass and the below ground biomass so with the help of this we will add both the biomass data to have the total biomass data so we are creating a new variable called a total biomass is equal to uh, to the above ground biomass we are adding so be careful while using the function add and add bands because uh, add bands will add an individual band we are adding the values here not the bands so i am using the function dot add uh, in order to have some of above ground biomass and the below ground biomass so to the above ground biomass i'm adding the below ground biomass and you can just rename this layer or band as total biomass so let's add our total biomass to the map is the function of map dot add layer total biomass so set set the visualization parameters minimum is uh, let it be zero and maximum is let's say 100 initially then we'll change and uh, palette so let's change the palette color this time let's uh, read for the low parameters and uh, and uh, let's say black for neutral values and uh, darker green for the higher total biomass values and uh, let's rename this layer as total 
Vamos. Click on drive. Uh, uh, three layers are loading now. The total biomass, the below ground biomass, and the above ground biomass. So, this is our final output, guys. So, instead of red, you can use white if you want because uh, the red doesn't seem to be good. So, let's use white or you can use uh, yellow, gray, anything is better. So, it just look uh, good for the clients. So, yeah. So, let's click on anywhere. Let's click on the white color. So, here you can see the total biomass is only 4 with the addition of one above ground biomass and uh, three below ground biomass our total biomass is four so if you can click on the darker regions darker green color regions it's 71 so like this you can explore so wherever there is uh, no data uh, you will get uh, the value as masked it means uh, the data set has uh, no values in particular that region because it's a water body so that's it for today guys if you have any kind of queries or you can post it in the comment section thank you for watching